Hello everyone, it's Robert from Hilton Got Volvo in Downham Market. Thank you very, very much for taking the time to have a look at this Volvo XC40 that I've got here in my stock. It's the Momentum model, uh, set off in this really nice black. It really does look good with the chrome um, roof rails and the silver alloy wheels. Visually very, very appealing, especially with the dark tinted windows. It's the T3 engine. What I mean by that is it's a petrol engine pushing out about 150 brake horsepower. Let's open the doors and have a look inside. And looking inside, it's just as nice with this lovely aluminium inlay on the dashboard. You've got this wonderful tanned uh, leather face seats with the off-white stitching. Really does brighten up this car somewhat, no end. We've got the three three-point belts, eyes are fixed on the two outer seats, three independent headrests, uh, power supply and vents in the middle, nice size boot with a 60-40 split seat, manual tailgate, fuel cap needs no introduction, there's no rips or tears that can be seen, electric windows all round, electric mirrors, folding mirrors, let's jump inside. And sitting in the driver's seat, we've got this lovely digital dashboard in front of us with the digital and analogue speedo in a digital format. Speed limiter, cruise control. Uh, panning out, we've got auto lights, auto wipers, adaptive lighting, and a number of steering wheel controls. And if it can't be controlled from here, then chances are it's controlled from here. And very intuitive, just like your smartphone or your tablet. Pinch in, pinch out, changing the view perspective. Home button if you ever make a mistake. You've got digital radio as well as FM and AM. Bluetooth for your phone, so making and receiving calls, but also as well listening to your music and your podcasts. Dual climate control, so different temperatures on different sides. Looking on there, you have a number of functions. Uh, to, so you've got your road sign recognition, your start, stop, uh, and the like. You've got front and rear parking sensors. They do two th a number of things. They do an audible beep, as you can hear. They give you a visualisation of a car, and then a visualisation of where the offending article is coming from. And that's both front and rear parking sensors. That also appears on the rear. And there we go, there's appearing on the rear. Swiping back across, you can change your bandwidth and the like. A pan out a little bit, you can select the driving modes to suit the driving style that best suits you. Power supply, USB ports and 12 volt socket, six speed manual box, electronic handbrake, cup holders and the place for putting your, your coins. Well, I hope you found that of use. If you have any questions, my name's Robert. I hope to speak to you soon. Bye-bye.